Before you start drawing or creating objects in Adobe Animate CC, it's a good idea to become familiar with the two drawing modes that Adobe Animate CC employs. If you don't, there's a good chance that you'll become frustrated because there's a good chance that you'll probably be in merge drawing mode and all of a sudden your objects will start merging and blending together when you don't want them to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at these two drawing modes. I'll click on my object drawing mode layer to make sure that I'm putting that object on its own layer. The first thing I'll do is go ahead and grab a rectangle tool and I've made sure to give myself a light fill color and a dark stroke color. The color doesn't necessarily matter, but it's going to help us to see how we can differentiate between the object drawing mode and the merge drawing mode. Now when I click a drawing tool, I need to make sure that I go down to the bottom of the toolbar and click on this object drawing button. This will ensure that I'm drawing in object drawing mode. And this is the drawing mode that most people are familiar with, with programs like Adobe Illustrator. This button for the object drawing mode, just so you're aware, will not show up unless you actually have a drawing tool selected. So now that I'm ready to draw this out, I'll go ahead and draw out a basic rectangle. Then I'll click on my selection tool and select that object. Notice that I only had to click it once and it includes both the fill and the stroke as a part of the selected object. This means that in object drawing mode, the stroke and the fill are grouped together. When I click and drag, both of those objects are going to move together. This is important because in merge drawing mode, the fill and the stroke are separate. So how can you tell that something's been made in object drawing mode? Well, the one thing that you want to look at is you want to look at what it looks like when it's been selected. Notice that this one has an outline or a boundary around it. This will let you know that this was created in object drawing mode. To see this further, we need to see what merge drawing mode looks like. So I'll click on that layer, click on a drawing tool, and uncheck or deselect the object drawing mode. I'll draw the same shape out, but this time when I click the selection tool, notice that when I click once, it only selects the fill. And notice that when it's selected, it looks very different than when I select this object created in object drawing mode. In merge drawing mode, when something's selected, it'll show with these dots. The reason why is because I can select this fill, this part of my stroke, this part of my stroke, or I can double click and select all of the stroke, or if I double click in the fill, it'll select both the fill and the stroke. So in merge drawing mode, what this allows you to do is separate the fill from the stroke. You can also separate different parts of the stroke from each other. So I can grab this part of the stroke and move it off. One of the really cool things about merge drawing mode is without selecting this part of the stroke, notice that when I hover over it, I have a curb underneath my mouse. This means that I can click and drag and bend this particular stroke in and I can click and drag and bend this particular stroke in. So I'm able to edit the strokes individually using merge drawing mode. Now the reason why it's called merge drawing mode is because when you select an object created in merge drawing mode and drop it onto another object created in merge drawing mode and deselect, what happens is they interfere or merge with each other. Notice that this fill has erased part of this stroke and this part of this stroke. If I click and move that fill out, here we can see that the stroke has been heavily modified because of the merge that occurred with the fill. So you're probably wondering why you would ever want to use merge drawing mode. It seems like it would be kind of a tedious option because every time you put something on another thing, they start merging together. And while this might be true, and I don't actually use merge drawing mode a lot, I do use merge drawing mode to create some really complex shapes that I don't want to have to spend the time making with a pen tool or an Adobe Illustrator or really just spending too much time on it when I can easily do it with merge drawing mode. So for instance, let's say for an animation I wanted to create a tree. What I'll do is I'll grab my shape and change the stroke and change the fill color. And just by creating a bunch of different circles, I can create a really quick and easy treetop for my animation without having to go into the pen tool or create something special in Adobe Illustrator. I've created one merged object that would have been hard to get right with those Bezier curves in the pen tool. And I did it fairly easily and fairly quickly. 
Now the one thing I did want to show you is that if you create something in object drawing mode, you can convert it or modify it so that it is built in merge drawing mode. To do this, you select the object, go to modify and choose break apart. Notice now that we have the dots inside. That's a visual indicator that this was created in merge drawing mode. Now I don't necessarily need to go that far. I can undo that and if you double click inside of this object, notice that with this little breadcrumb trail now, we are inside of the drawing object. So it is in full color while everything else is semi-transparent now. When I select the fill or I select the stroke, now you can see that when we get inside of the object, it is still built in merge drawing mode. So now I can come over here and hover over the bottom of the stroke and pull it up and pull this part of the stroke down and create a custom shape. And if I click scene one and get back onto the stage, this is still an object drawing mode, but now it is a custom shape that was modified in merge drawing mode, but you kind of get the best of both worlds. So that's the basics of using the two drawing modes in Adobe Animate CC. Make sure you become very aware and familiar with them. You're probably going to use object drawing mode the majority of the time, but let yourself use merge drawing mode to save some time and create some really cool graphics when it can be helpful.